Shepard, I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Well, I got hit by a random cutscene, so let's do this. Why are you helping Udina? Why were you? Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but... I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Welcome aboard. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power-hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. You know him? I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy, and in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Good, good. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and just make this a full episode. So we've got a whole lot of stuff to do. Wow, look at our military. Wow, what the heck? 
Man, it just shot up. Probably from the Krogan, because I haven't checked it from there since then, but... Holy cow! I'm gonna have to do some more multiplayer, because we've all... I think... Do we have enough? Yeah, we have enough! If I can get it up to, like, 75%, I bet it'll be enough. So I'll have to play a little bit more multiplayer. I've only played, like, one full match, dude, because I lost connection. So that'll be fun. And I'll be uploading that at some point. If not, I already have. I don't know. This is a, this is a very... I'm recording very far ahead of time. You got words? I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Yeah, sure. Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. That's a good idea. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? Yes. I was visiting my family during a university holiday. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them. But they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Cool. Anything else? Commander? Email. Holy cow. Uh, game night. Trainer. Yeah, that's boom. Why didn't you just tell me right there? Night of fun and games. Okay. Um. Your cabin rather than the conference. Why don't we get in our group? <laughs> I'm gonna go up to my room and everyone's gonna be like, "There's like five people waiting for me." Ugh. Um, I already did that. I think I already did that. When the biotic identifies the surface as ash. Cruise for hierarchy and hierarchy officials. Vols ambassador Don Din Korlak. Okay, so we can go talk to James. I'm gonna be heading down there anyway. Kai Lang. Credentials faked. Okay, well, let's, just, let's make this a talky talky long episode and doing all kinds of stuff. will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. Be nice. 
Go easy on Ash. She's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Man, what the heck's up with you? Commander. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. <laughs> She's not laughing. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachanka was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. Ah. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Whatever it wants to be at this point. I mean, the Geth... That's exactly what happened with the Geth, so... It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth. And the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. Done. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Cool. This is just... I want these two to hook up. <laughs> I just find this hilarious. Are you and Ashley okay? The last time she saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed her of the situation. She is taking it well. Good. Hello, Shepard. Commander. Okay. So that's these two taken care of. I love the little stuff they put in the game that people don't even really go to. Uh, what is over here? Oh, that's right. That's the top. That's where the commander and stuff commander, is. Doctor Chuck was sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay, Commander. Okay, I got lots of people to talk to. Um, let's start in the captain's cabin. Fishies and jellyfish. What? I remember buying jellyfish. Intercom. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Okay. Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Just games. Play. I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? I have a bad feeling. This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real <laughs> expertise will give you an edge. Yeah, yeah, right. Ha! Oh, come on. <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. Yeah, there is that. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard... And a Krogan. They have quad. One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. Yeah, I get it. That's me. 
And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I actually got that one. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, yeah, and I'm, I'm not gonna do... Ah, maybe another playthrough I'll do that, but... Oh, man, I can't believe I got the quad joke. Because, you know, Krogan have four, whereas humans only have two. That's funny. Trainer, can you send Diana? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Are you, like, here? That didn't sound like it was ready through the intercom. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Hey, I have a Paragon option. Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Well, male and female, then we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. Let's keep this professional. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. I didn't think so, but just in case. And now James. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? Oh, I probably thought about it. The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. What happened exactly? You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, 
waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You destroyed a, C a Cerberus, or... Did you say Collector or Cerberus ship? I think you said... You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Hmm. That's up to you. I think that's up to you. Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Fair enough. Of course not. Gracias. Well, Say nada. I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Okay, we can deal with the armor later. Carnage. Oh, we have carnage now. Nice. Okay, well now... We're gonna head down to the crew deck. Hey, Garrus. Oh, look at that. Caden, Marcus Grinko, Mor Morden Sir Solus. Thane's on the list too now. All of the. some memorial board. Wow. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? No. I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight too. So heck, I could if depending on like the past and everything, I might have ended up having to kill Ash. What the heck? Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No one wants to talk, okay. Hey, you. Good to see you. That's all you have to say to me? Seriously? Good to see you. Okay, med bay time. May I speak with you, Commander? Why are you standing at attention? Commander? An opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Um, why me? Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. 
With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Well, that sounds important. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical yes, 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 yes. Citadel refugees. Speak isn't over there, so let's go talk to Liara. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Okay, let's use the intel terminal. Oh, I got to choose one of those, I see. I can choose both of these, I think. Or maybe not. Oh no, I see. So the information... Oh, I get it. That's kind of cool. So I find information and then I can use that here to trade for a bonus. Let's go with a discount bonus, which would have been so sweet earlier. Um... Cool. That makes sense. I, I, I finally figured that out. <laughs> Fire on the Rachni when their ships pulled up to the crucible. The Rachni actually have ships. I see Rachni sh shutting down the halls. They almost gave Poff Leo a fit. <laughs> cool. So we've got the uh, Rachni helping out with the building. Wow. Cool. Um. Widow has a 95% increase. Omega has a decrease. Interesting. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but... It would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Um, you're how old? Remind me how long Asari normally live? Centuries. Some of us reach 1,000. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Of course not over. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Ah, friends. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Okay, 1001. It's later. A Prothean. 
Darn it. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. Oh, we got warp ammo. That's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. It's gonna cost me money. Yes, it is. Um, warp ammo. <laughs> more weapon damage and more damage to barriers and armor. So I have my bear. My other ammo would be good against armor, but not barriers. I think it's just armor. Let me look at my stats. Light cover to hit enemies. Oh, I actually have that in general. That's one way to do it. Um, armor damage bonus is only a ten percent actually. Actually, no, it's it's a 10% bonus, but it also does 50% decrease in armor. However, the fact that it can do well against biotic shields makes um, it a little sound a little bit more appealing. So we're actually going to get warp ammo. Okay. More weapon damage, barrier damage, 30%. So it has a higher armor damage bonus, except the armor weakening is weaker. Actually, the other one ignores armor, but... Chance of damage increased. I'm gonna have to consider that. Increases health and armor damage by 7. Increases barrier damage by 15%. I like this. It has better stats aside from the weakening. Increases ammo capacity by 30%. Increases headshot damage by 25. Oh, wow. That actually could be really nice. Um, let's see. We're going to hit... I don't need ammo capacity. We'll hit this. And I don't have enough points for the next part. Um, I like this. Cool. Warp ammo, yay! That'll be nice. And now, we can go down to engineering. Okay. Have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, so, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. Commander. Okay. Hey, you. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing Kenneth is still installing the right thermal now. conduit down in the hall. Oh, we'll have to you to call through the door. We're still working on the thermal modification. It should be done pretty soon. Let's go down. It's best for the, it's best for the ship. It's best for us. It's our lifeline. It goes down. We're down with it. all for engineering, just making sure that they got that, didn't have to actually deliver it. And last but not least, we'll head to the shuttle bay. For your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Hey Good job. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. <laughs> well, yeah. There's that, too. Okay, well, let's mess with my armor. 
So I'm using the defender armor. Cool, it'll even tell me. I got lots of helmets. Um, increased melee damage, no thanks. The weapon damage and the headshot damage is nice. I like this. Chest. Shield regeneration is good. Power damage is okay. More weapon damage. That works. I like the shield. Well, weapon damage is nice. We'll take that. Shoulders. More headshot and weapon damage. Versus melee damage. I'll take that. I do like the ammo capacity. And I don't think I need it. Because I have my beam rifle. Should that change... Yeah, we'll see. I like that. Save and exit. Looks cool. Up and bench. Use my uh, heavy, 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 heavy duty snippy refill. Much higher fire rate, way less damage, and even less accuracy. It's kind of funny. A little bit more weight. Higher capacity, much higher fire rate, and less damage. Black Widow, super heavy, less capacity. But it has a two shot weapon. Um, Sword shot capacity by 70%. That's good. Boost the damage a little bit. I don't like the fact that this is so heavy, but I think that... Yeah, actually about buying... Actually, what I could do... No, it's not this one, it's this one. Or do is there I cannot buy the Black Widow. There we go, Black Widow two. More damage and weight. And the particle rifle. Now then, I was like a hundred and nine, let's see what it's at now. Ninety two. So it does help. Sounds good. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. Um... What about your waking hours? Any R&R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well... Too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd 
turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are reviews like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Um, okay. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. I find it very hard to say no to you, Shepard. As it should be. Uh, I am your commanding officer. Cool, so I actually had a par- There haven't been many Paragon options yet. I guess it's supposed to give you time to, like, kind of settle in on one or the other. Hey, Commander. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. Okay, this whole well- war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, oh, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna cut the video off here and go back up top. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. And God bless.